all right guys so another quick video on how to fix another kitchen appliance sometimes it's uh, easier to fix than to replace so this one's an interesting one I should have filmed it when I took it apart so many intricate pieces inside of each other here all this came apart like I said probably should have taken a video or a picture at least so I can show you what's inside anyway so I'll, I'll show you the issue and I'll show you how easy the fix is so um, obviously if you're familiar with the Nutribullet you put this housing on it you twist it you can hear it it doesn't want to get going but magically if I reorient it a little bit and I'll explain why this works in a second, but there it is. So what I learned when I opened it up, I was looking for a fuse, just like that crock pot video that I showed that a fuse needed to be replaced. But for this one, I was looking for a fuse and I couldn't find it. And then I was just like, you know, inspecting and looking how they built this guy. There's three switches here, three white ones. Um, and it engages with the with the tabs on the container here so there's three tabs and all three tabs on the glass container or plastic whatever this material is on this container press down on the white tabs and then when you twist it you lock it in place and that's connected to a switch but when I opened it up two of them are connected to switches one of them isn't so there's a dummy one so I look back to the container and if you can see it here, it's actually broken off. Somehow this tab on the container got broken and I actually put an X here so we can line it up easily. So all you gotta do, you don't need to open this guy up at all. What worked for us, and this should work for you as well if you have a similar brand Nutribullet where they Assumably also built them the same where there's one dummy white switch. So this in in this case I you know, I know that this is the dummy one because I opened it up and I saw that it was not connected to anything. It's just um, Just a dummy clicker So I just put the broken one and line it up with the dummy uh, Switch and the other two are gonna be engaged the tabs are going to engage with the white tabs when you press down just like that this one you can see like, I'm not pressing down on the white one but I don't need to so if you have a very uh, similar problem where one of your tabs in your container got broken off my suggestion is try all orientations until you find which one is the dummy you don't need to open it up it's only one that's a dummy figure out which one's the dummy and then always um, line up the broken section with the dummy and engage with the tabs the white the other two white uh, buttons that should do it all right thank you all